Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we have a very special box here. And it is, I think you know what it is if you've seen the last two videos. Uh, I was talking about getting in a booster case. It's, it's really close to the camera, sorry. Um, but it is a booster case of the Maximum Gold, which I have received. And uh, we're going to open it up. Yeah. So, I hit the camera there with the box, but it doesn't matter because, look at this, uh, I'll get one out. I think there's four of these boxes in a, in a, in a box, so this is a box, let me zoom out, there we go. So here's a box, um, it contains six of the little packs, and... Um, I'm just gonna get right into one. So, there we go. I think we're just gonna open up one right now. And if you guys enjoy the openings, I can actually, like, <laughs> uh, what's this? Why does it not wanna go in there? Let's go. If you guys enjoy the openings, I'll, uh, I'll make a video of the other boxes as well, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to open up these boxes. And um, let's see here, we have six. There's four packs in each box, so. Um, let's start off with the first one. I'll need my knife again. So I'm looking looking forward to the to the alternate art cards. Um, I think they're really cool. Stuff like Elemental Hero Stratos, um, Appaloosa, also a really nice one. Um, let's see, Draw and Lockbird, I think, also a really nice one. So I just want to go look at these uh, gold rares that pop. You know, that's uh, what I'm really looking for. So here we go, first pack. Um, we have the Domain of the True Monarchs. Oh, the gold rares are at the back, cool. The Monarchs Erupt, <clears throat> Planet Pathfinder, uh, Mac Knight of the Morning Star, uh, White Prince, we have, oh, there we go, Infinite Impermanence, and then Nibiru, the Primal Being. Look at that. These are some mighty nice, I think they're uh, two of the more valuable ones as well. Um, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a good start. I'm not gonna lie, that's a really nice start. So we'll keep these here. Um, put the rares over here, I guess. Not really too interesting. There's some, there's some good cards in there though. So um, let's just uh, put the good two gold rares down here and we'll go through the rares first. So Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster, Noble Knight Ektar, Noble Knight Pelinor, um, Rafa, Dragon Lord of the Dark World, and Totally Awesome. That's a really cool rare as well. Uh, I believe that's uh, worth uh, so, some money still, if I uh, saw correctly on Card Marked yesterday. Um, so the first gold rare is a Reinforcements of the Army. And that looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a card that I've played a lot back in the day. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with all these gold rares. I don't think I'm going to even sell them. Uh, Ooh, and then we have Monster Reborn. Oh, this brings back memories as well. Oh, this is such a nice looking card. There we go. Maybe you can uh, zoom in a little. Look at that. I'm just gonna keep it zoomed out though. Um, I had it zoomed in for the other videos as well and I didn't really show the full cards. And I think it's a lot, lot easier now to show the full cards when it's zoomed out a little. So let's uh, keep on doing that. So, third pack, it's uh, number C107, uh, Neo Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon, then we have Shared Ride, a Lost World, a Dimensional Prison, that's a throwback to the days that I played Dimensional Prison, it's so cool, and Preparation of Rights, oh man, Dim Dimensional Prison, uh, I've played that card for so long, it was so good back in the day, and uh, yeah, I just, I just love that card. I'm gonna keep it at the side here with Totally Awesome, even though it's probably not really worth anything, but because nobody plays it anymore. Oh, I noticed that um, 
the, the gold rares are still here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go for extra foolish burial uh, turbos to Forbidden Realms, uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote, Trade In, and Eater of Millions. Um, and then we'll go through the gold rares that are in the box. So we have Tour Guide from the Underworld. That's a really good card. It goes well with the Turbus as well. Um, yeah, that it 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 pops. Uh, like uh, it's not the alternate art; it's the original art, and she she really pops out from the card as well. So that's you can actually feel uh, where uh, where the gold bordering is. So that's just super super cool. And then we have Solemn Judgment. Okay, that's some throwback to the older times as well. That's really nice. Um, less of pop is just just uh, this border, but th but the outside borders are really cool as well. So that doesn't really matter. It's it's just a cool card. Um, and then we have oh parlor dragon maid. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. I say that every card pops, but I can, just can't get over the, the the way these cards pop. And then oh there we go, Droll and lockbird. I think this is uh, the alternate art, if I'm uh, correct. So, yeah, that looks super dope. Yeah. So, uh, so those were all <laughs> eight gold rares. Um, I really, really like all of them. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's super cool. Um, so let's see what we can get in the, in the next box. I'm just gonna go and open this up. So, let me guys, let me know what you guys want from this set. What you guys are looking for? Maybe also opening some packs, uh, hoping to get stuff. Um, I'm interested to hear your guys' perspective as well. Um, so let me just stack up the gold rares because uh, it's gonna take up too much space right now. Um, put put out all eight cards um, all separately, and that doesn't really work. So. Maybe you should put infinite impermanence on the bureau side, but yeah, that's not. Um, so here we go with some more rares. Uh, number 107, Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon, uh, Trap Tricks Dionea, uh, Dark Lord Contact, Barrier Statue of the Inferno, and Barrier Statue of the Drought. And then we have... Ooh, Super Polymerization. That's also in the, um, in the OTS pack right now. Um, but it's uh, in, in gold. It's also pretty nice. And then we have oh Sky Striker Ace Kagari. So a little throwback to the Sky Striker days. Um, yeah, these 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 borders on the arrows are really cool as well. Okay, so next pack. You guys want to see the gold rares first this time? I'm just gonna go with the gold rares first this time. <laughs> uh, oh, we have another tour guide from the underworld, and now we have the alternate art. Which uh, pops a little less, actually. So we have that, and then we have ooh, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. That's another throwback card for me. Um, I've played back in the days during Shadows. And uh, speaking of number one hundred one, Silent Honor Arc, uh, Synchron Barrier, Mac Knight of the Morning Star, Graffa, and Didi Warrior Lady. Uh, speaking of throwbacks, that is one. Um, used to play Didi Warrior Lady in Goat format a lot. That was a really cool card back then. So I think we're gonna keep doing gold rares first. Um, oh, Cosmo Town and Appaloosa. This is the alternate art Appaloosa. That looks so dope. Uh, these arrows again. I, I just love, love, love the gold rare. Gold rare used to be so ugly. I love how they do it right now. Um, Caligo Claw Crow, Mistaken Accusation, Number 15, Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder, um, Dragon's Mirror, that used to be an expensive card as well, and Magical Meltdown, nice to feel the spell. Oh, it makes me think of Alistair that's also in this set. So, yeah, we're just gonna go uh, flip through it real quickly. And then we have uh, the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardis and Zodiac Chekanine. And then play for the Zodiac time, so. Uh, I just love the Link monsters in Gold Rare. It's just so awesome. And these 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 ranks as well, it's just, uh, I love it. So, I've been going through some of the rares and we probably haven't seen all of them yet, but I don't know. I just, 
I think we uh, we kind of seen it a bit, right? It's it's fine. It's kind of like watching through comments in uh, in the main sets. It's it's fun, but it's not that special. So we'll just starting now for the rest of the pack. We'll just go right to the. Um, We'll flip through them quickly, and we'll go to the gold rare, so... Um, Foolish Burial, Dark Lord Contact, and we have, oh! Uh, Martial Metal Marcher, and Zodiac Check and Nine again! There we go! I was actually stunned with the C101, because I thought, hey, that's an Honor Arc. I haven't seen in a while. Well, not that I've seen the other one uh, a lot lately, but yeah. Uh, the first Monarch. And Karibo. Ooh, Herald of the Arclight. And we have another Super Polymerization. So there we go. There's some cool cards in here. Uh, number S39, Utopia the Lightning. And another Drawn and Lockbird. So that is cool. We're, we're getting up to a playset, I guess. I just want to put down the, the gold rares again, just flip through these. Because it's more fun to ju just like flip them like this, because they kind of fan out too much. It's like, oh, Stardust Charge Warrior. That's, that looks cool. And now we have Artifact Lancia. Oh, that used to be a, a main deck and side deck card for a lot of times. And I think even recently it was a side deck card. Um, started out as a common. But the gold really, really looks nice. And uh, I know there's there's some more of those as well. Um, I think there's a secret rare of Lancia. I'm not really sure which rarity there is. I mean, common is fine, right? But gold really looks nice. <laughs> anyway, put these down here. Uh, Mech Phantom Beast. Oh, Dimensional Prison again. Uh, Lose Turn. I like that. I like that card. And then we have... Harvest Feather Duster. Oh, nice. And then we have... Another Herald of the Arc Light. So Harvest Feather Duster was uh, kind of uh, a given as a reprint in this set. Kind of, kind of hoping for a Lightning Storm as well because it's a really nice looking card and um, I kind of want it. Uh, I saw the price go down so I was like maybe they'll, they'll, they'll reprint it in a set but I uh, understand why they didn't. It's uh, it's one of the money cards. They probably want to put it in like the tins next year. So we have uh, Boral Sword Dragon. This is the alternate art. Really nice. And then we have Laundry Dragon made. So that's cool. I guess uh, some people like the waifu cards. I'm not really a Dragon Maid fan myself, so I kind of skip through them a little bit. Jungling Mirror Force, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley, Sacred Sword Tuning, Night Beam. There we go. And then... Ooh, there we go. Gold Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. This looks nice. I'm going to keep that to the side. And then we have... Oh, so we have a playset of Herald of the Arclight. Okay, there we go. So after this we have two more of these mini boxes. And there we have Necrofelli Throne. Never seen that card. I've been in and out of Yu-Gi-Oh for a bit, so I don't know every card. I didn't play during the Zodiac Age. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, Zodiac Trident and a Nurse Dragon Maid. So, some more waifu cards, I guess. So I'm going to be opening up two of these boxes, uh, the, the bigger boxes, um, off camera. And I'll be opening the last one, if you guys really like the openings. In like, one or two days, I guess. Depends on when I have time. But yeah. Here we go. So, Starlight Junction, Domain, Tuning, White Stone Temple of the Six. And now we have 
Cyber Dragon Infinity alternate art. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh yeah, I like it a lot. And then, ooh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Gonna put that off this side as well. I really love the, the old days gold rare um, normal monsters a lot more than I thought I would. They, ha they have such a such a nice pop to them. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, Takatonborg, Extra Foolish Burial Mistake, Miracle Contact, Circle of, the, Circle of the Fire Kings. And then number S39, Utopia the Lightning. And there we go. Playset of Droll and Lockbird. That looks awesome. I, I really like that card in this, uh, in this foiling. Yeah. Monarchs Erupt, Union Hanger. Number 87, Trickster Reincarnation Barrier Statue. And another Martial Metal Marcher. And another Zodiac Chacanine. So we're getting a lot of the same ones here. Uh, the Gold Rares. That's fine. Some of the Rares again. And then let's go for the Gold Rares. Another blue eyes, there we go. And ooh, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Nice. It looks really nice in the gold rare form. I think the OCG had the card as well in the gold set. It's just it just looks amazing. Let's see if we can get another infinite impermanence or whatever. Because that first pack, that was crazy. That was amazing. Here we go. So last four packs of this box. Uh, Traptic Tricks Mermelio. I, I remember playing that. Uh, oh, that's something I wanted for my for my Burning Abyss cards. Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. That looks amazing. Uh, I love it way more than the old gold rare. And then we have another reinforcements of the army. Yeah, I love the board, Burning Abyss archetype. Um, in, a, in a hat format, I think it's called it. The hat deck. Uh, artifacts. Trap tricks. I don't even remember what the H stood for. But I, I used to play the Memorilio. I remember that. There we go. Eldleach the Golden Lord. There we go. What a cool card. Of course it's in Golden Rare. And then we have Elder Anthony Entis. Golden Lord. Yeah, he was he was always gonna get a gold rare. I mean it's the Golden Lord. Can't really uh, not print that in gold. Ooh, another Red Eyes Black Dragon and another Star's Charge Warrior. So we have the two Red Eyes and the two Blue Eyes, but we haven't had a Dark Magician yet. So we still need that one. Um, so yeah, mistake in our accusation. Link Rebo. I think that's the first Link Rebo that I've seen in, in here. And we have, ooh, another Infinite Impermanence and Polymerization. Should have done the other art as well in uh, Gold Rare. That's super, super dope. So, there we go. Um, so we have Double Infinite Impermanence. I think the, the first one was at the bottom here somewhere. One Nibiru. Place it a draw on Lockbird. Other Anton... Anton T. Entis. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, draw on Lockbird. I think it's all the same art. I thought there was an, a, a different art. Maybe I'm just getting the same thing over and over again. Um, but I'm not sure that the other art's in there then. Appaloosa. Mm, different tour guides, yeah. So yeah. Um, I think this is all I wanted to show. I think these are like the prime takeaways for me, personally. So the Ash Blossom here.
looks really nice. And he has double imp infinite impermanence. But also dragon as the alternate art. I like it guys. I'm gonna be opening up the others as well. So let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you want from the set or you're excited for. And I'm out.